I've been working at Christmas Island for 18 years, scuba diving on some of the world's most pristine coral reefs. And when we went there last March, that's exactly what we saw. Beautiful coral reefs, abundant fish, some of the most incredible dives I've ever done. Fast forward to July of last year, we went back and there were the earliest signs of bleaching associated with ocean temperatures that were just ramping up with this El Nino event. Fast forward another couple months, November, of 2015, we were back during what was the peak of this El Nino event. Ocean temperatures rose to a level that had never been seen at this site before. And we dove the reefs during that expedition. We saw the devastating sites, talking about 30 to 90 percent of the reef bleached and some species already completely dead. And we knew that this event wasn't over. Fast forward another five months, last month, we went back there and we saw that our worst fears had come true. Most of the reef was dead, pushed way past the point of bleaching. We saw 80% and more mortality of the coral on the reef. And now we have the grim reality that this reef will take another 10 years to recover. And of course, this is just a portent for things to come for global reefs, which are under continued stress from rising ocean temperatures and extremes like the one we just went through. So what we can learn from this, looking at this system before, during, and after this event, will help us understand how to help the reefs of the future uh, recover from such acute temperature stresses and climate change scenarios.